Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here again in Harrison Bay State Park and I'm hiking down the same trail that I hiked down a week or so ago when I made my B-roll video that I called a brisk morning hike. And that was the first time I'd ever walked down this trail. And that morning, as I was walking down this trail, even though I was wearing a bright yellow jacket, which I thought would be good for that B-roll video, I came up across a thrush. Might have been a wood thrush, might have been a hermit thrush, but it was only like 20 feet away. I'm sitting here with no camera, except for my phone, which I made that entire video with, staring face to face with a wood thrush or a hermit thrush, which both of those are birds that I don't get to photograph very often. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna come back this morning and see what birds I can find. Now, I'll probably hike this entire trail and not see a single bird. That's, that's my fear. So I also have in my backpack, I also have some landscape photography gear. So if I make it down to the very end of the trail where I turned around on my first hike of this trail and don't see any birds that entire time, I'm going to make a little uh, landscape photography photo of that little bay that I saw. So. Anyway, I've got options today, and let me get to it. Well, I've already hiked further down the trail than I did when I made my brisk morning hike video. And by the way, it's about 20 degrees warmer today. It was 26 when I made that video, and today it's 47 Fahrenheit. So still jacket weather, but not blowing uh, steam weather. Anyway, haven't seen or heard any thrush, but I did get a picture of a bird that I often photograph the Carolina Wren. Here is the first bird of the day and at the time I was making this photograph I didn't realize that I was actually going to like the photograph quite a bit. As a matter of fact you'll hear me talk in later clips in this video how I didn't think the photo was very good but I like this little Carolina Wren photograph. I've also seen a lot of Carolina chickadee. I mean a lot like a flock of ten bouncing around but I don't think I got any decent shots. And I've been trying to get a shot of a ruby crown kinglet. And I think I might have gotten one that's close to decent, but I don't think I've gotten a good one. I did end up with one photograph of a cute little Carolina chickadee that I liked enough to share with you in this video. This is, as all of the ones on the trail are, this is a 600 millimeter shot, wide open at f6.3 and 1 250th of a second. Now here is the ruby crown kinglet. And I really didn't think I got a decent shot of it. And I actually could have cropped this a little bit smaller, but I like the way it looked in this evergreen tree. This It's just a tiny evergreen tree, and the kinglet makes that tree look huge. And you can see its red stripe on the top of its head that indicates that this ruby crown kinglet is a male. Well, that was an epic fail of biblical proportions. The only shot that I'm fairly sure I got is the Carolina Wren, and I don't even think that's a very good shot. So... I'm back at the trailhead now and I'm going to drive around and see what I can find from the car. Well, today has been a disaster. Harrison Bay State Park just didn't work out. I didn't like the landscape photography compositions. The light was kind of flat and the bird photography was kind of a disaster as you've already seen. But I came back home and now I'm in the blind and I've already seen some birds. Strangely, the first bird I saw was a Carolina Wren, which was about the only bird I saw at Harrison Bay State Park. These Carolina Wren photographs were made much, much closer. As a matter of fact, this is only 359 millimeters, and you can see lots of detail in this bird. It's actually standing on a bird feeder that my sister's husband made for me. And here is another Carolina Wren with its tail pointing straight up, as is a characteristic that you often see on a Carolina Wren. I love the detail in the eyes on these Carolina Wren photos. And then I saw a mockingbird. This mockingbird was not on the back porch. It was about 15 or 20 feet further away in a Leland cypress that's growing in my backyard, or really, I guess I should say my side yard. 600 millimeter shot at 1 320th wide open 6.3. I didn't get home and get started working in the blind today until about 10 a.m., and that's the time of day I like to be completely finished with my photography. But the good news is it's 100% overcast today, so even though it's later in the morning than I like to be doing photography, I won't have harsh bad light because of the natural softbox in the sky. The mockingbird came a little closer and landed on one of the perches on my back porch, and I made a couple of shots of it. Actually, I made more than a couple, but I shared a couple of shots of it, both at 376 millimeters, ISO 640, wide open at 6.3. Shot these at 1 250th of a second 
And I'm getting to where I like it when you can see both eyes of a bird in a photograph as you can in this shot. And then suddenly a day that was going really poorly started going really well. The ruby crown kinglet, which I had seen out here through the kitchen window a couple of days ago, the ruby crown kinglet showed up. And even though the shots I got of it weren't on the por perches, they were on the handrail of the porch. My handrail is uh, 21 years old, so it has a very weathered look to it, and it's not like it's on a brand new handrail that looks extraordinarily man-made. So really excited to get photographs of the super tiny and extra cute ruby crown kinglet right here on the back porch. Even though all of these shots of the ruby crown kinglet were on the handrail, I was still super happy to get them. This is one of my favorite birds, just amazingly cute, and they don't stay put any place for very long, usually less than a second, if you can get one to land someplace. And I just love the colors of this bird, and it's just adorable. I like the white ring around its eyes. And it's hard for me to describe how tiny this bird is, so I'm going to read a description that I found on Wikipedia. The ruby crown kinglet is a very small bird, being 9 to 11 centimeters, or 3.5 to 4.3 inches long. It has a wingspan of 16 to 18 centimeters, 6.3 to 7.1 inches, and it weighs 5 to 10 grams, or 2 tenths to 4 tenths of an ounce. That thing is tiny, and just look how adorable it is. I think the only bird I photographed that's smaller than a ruby crown kinglet is probably the ruby-throated hummingbird, and I love to get photos of those on the back porch as well. I just got a photograph of a male house finch. It was in the Leland Cypress that's not on the porch. It's 10 or 15 feet further away and kind of hidden in the branches. I don't know if I'll use it, but I guess if you're hearing this clip, I'm going to use it. Here's the male house finch. I was impressed about how the A6700 was able to bag focus on its eye with all of those green branches in the foreground blocking the shot. And there's more green branches just out of the shot above the bird. So I was impressed that the A6700 was able to see through all of that mess and bag the eye in focus. I think I'm going to call it a day. It's been a struggle today. Really had a hard time finding birds, even a little bit here at home in the blind. But at least I got a ruby crown kinglet, so that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, reach down, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.